stratigraphic model, as opposed to a stratigraphic solid or voxel block model, is simply a display of grids bounded by side panels. The programs that we'll be describing within the next three videos are based on grids, not solid models. Although the Borehole Manager Stratigraphy Model Program automatically creates these diagrams, the Utilities Grids to Stratigraphic Model Programs provide a means to manually construct stratigraphic models based on existing grid files. These grids could be imported from other programs generated with the Utilities Map Programs from XYZ files, or they could be services that were initially generated by the stratigraphy model program and subsequently modified. The next three videos describe the conventional, exploded, and quadrant style grids to stratigraphic model conversions. In order to create a conventional stratigraphic model based on existing grid files, a datasheet must first be created. This datasheet must contain a row for each layer that includes the layer title, the superface or top grid name, the subface or base grid name, and color. Although the order of these rows does not matter, it is recommended that the row order correspond with the relative stratigraphic position. If thin or zero thickness zones within a layer are to be omitted, an additional cutoff column must be added to the datasheet. If thickness cutoffs are to be used, activate the Apply Thickness Cutoff Filter option and select the datasheet column that contains the minimum thickness. In order to create an exploded stratigraphic model based on existing grid files, a datasheet must first be created as described within the previous video. If the vertical separation distance between the layers is not to be uniform, an additional offset column must be added to the datasheet and the layer spacing must be set to variable and the offset column must be specified. If, on the other hand, the spacing is to be uniform, there is no need for an offset column within the datasheet. Instead, just select the Uniform option and specify the separation distance. Please note that stratigraphic quadrant models were introduced within Rockworks 17 and are not available within previous versions of the software. In order to create a stratigraphic quadrant model based on existing grid files, a datasheet must first be created with the title, top grid, bottom grid, and color for each layer. This program will split the diagram into equally sized quadrants separated by the specified separation distance. This distance is specified in project units. If the separation distance is set to zero, Cutaway views can be created by enabling and disabling the quadrants and elements within the Rockplot 3D display window. 